Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 60 of Let's Play Final Fantasy V Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, before I head for the Cloister of the Dead, I really need to buy some more items. I think I'm gonna head back. Oh, wait a minute. Something seems to have triggered. Let's see what's going on in the water. Okay, what is this? Oh, wait a minute! Why do I have a feeling Konami is gonna sue when they see this? That happened to be a Moai! I mean, Final Fantasy IV had a Moai, and this one's gonna have one too, I suppose. There, get some rest. Much needed rest. Alright, let's go. Okay, I believe that Moai was southeast of the Phantom Village. Up oh, there it is. It's just looking right at us. Pretty snazzy. I like it. Though there's no real purpose to the whole thing. It's just an Easter egg. That's all. Okay, my first destination will be Castle Ball because that's where I can get some ethers in that. Dear, I almost seem to have forgotten where it was. Actually, I think I'm going to save first. He thinks that would be a good idea. Okay, I believe it was over here where the item shop is. Okay, ethers are a great idea. Really good idea. Actually, considering the fact that I'm here, I think I can learn a new dark art. What I need to do is have my necromancer have blue magic now. I don't really care about the rest of the equipment. Then we just gotta run to these guys again. Sure, Lena's the one to attack. No, not Dark Arts. Level 5 Death. Because I can learn a new Dark Art from these guys. Hellwind. Okay, let's see what Hellwind is. It should be pretty good. Renders all enemies with cursed winds and can cause petrification. That's like 38 MP. That's, that's very expensive. You're really not slacking here. I'm not I'm joking. Okay, I'm only going to give you an example of some of the dark arts you can learn. I'm not going to go out and learn every single one or show you where you can learn every single one. Whatever, whatever ones I didn't show you, well, like I said, I'll explain if I didn't in the previous video. Okay, I got to hit for Drakenvale. To a zombie dragon. Hopefully, I can find it on the first try, and there it is! Okay, Lena, do your worst. Which is essentially a phoenix down. And you can learn Evil Mist! Pretty cool, huh? Okay, what is Evil Mist? Sprays all enemies with a deadly poison, also causes poison. Duh, you think so? Oh my god, it's a poisonous attack, and oh, and it can cause poison too. Like really, how was I supposed to know that? Anyways, I'm gonna learn some more dark arts off footage, and then I'll explain them before I begin the Cloister of the Dead. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, I've picked up a good amount of items, and I also learned a whole lot of dark arts too. Why don't I go explain? We all know about Drain Touch and Dark Haze. Well, actually, we don't learn about Dark Haze. It causes old and confusion status for all enemies, and I managed to learn it from one of those Lemurs in the Phoenix Tower. Or you can learn them from Exorays, too, in the Sealed Temple. Deep Freeze freezes one target with otherworldly cold and causes stop status. In other words, it's Ice Elemental, and I learned it from the Assassins in the Seal Temple. 
Uh, meltdown I got from Liquid Flame and Phoenix Tower. Burns target with Searing Heat and causes Sap. We already know about Hellwind. Chaos Drive I learned from Mini Satana. It can cause paralysis, thus striking with electricity. Curse causes various status elements I learned from the Ironclad, which is like in the uh, Lethe Court. And Dark Flare I learned from X Death Soul. It damages all enemies with a burst of dark energy, kind of like Flare. Now, there's one dark art that I'm missing, and that's called Doomsday. It's very powerful, but it's not as great as Dark Flare, in my opinion. And you'll learn that from Hades. And if you don't know where to find dark arts, just talk to this guy. Name instricably linked with death exists within the Seal Temple, which of course is Hades. Okay, we're gonna go with uh, Freelancers and Mimes, which work well for me against Neo X Death. And yep, this is what we're gonna go with. Instead of Spellblade for Ferris, I wanna give you Rapid Fire in blue, and Rapid Fire and Spellblade for Barts. Okay, with that said, I'm fully saved. Levels are at 53, which is a prime number. Good thing. I think now we can take on the Cloister of the Dead. Yeah, I'll enter. I'm ready. So, it's kind of like an upgraded boss rush, wave after wave of classic bosses. I'm ready for ya, let's go. So, here's our first enemy, the Wing Raptor. In fact, that was the very first boss we faced. Ah, uh, old memories. Now they have a lot more HP, and sometimes their spells are upgraded. In other words, any boss that used Cure will now use Curaga. Well, you get the idea. Ah, uh, Garula. I remember that stupid taper. The Snuffleupagus ripoff. We're pretty much going on a genocidal warpath. Oh, Siren, I remember you too. You get the idea. We don't really care about memories. We just care about destruction. Um, Ferris is doing all the work, apparently. Next! Beforza and Magisa. This time at the same time, rather than... Magisa and then Forza. So yeah, this could take a little bit more time. Not very much, but you get the idea. That's nice. Oh, now we're dealing with Lazaga now. Okay, so that's clearly an upgrade. In that case, I'll just go with Flare. And I'm sure you will be done. Oh, Lena's getting some payback from last time. Oh, okay, she's still alive! I was hoping Lena would get the finishing flow, considering the first time we fought Magusa, Lena was took out by a poison arrow. But I guess Bart's gonna have to do the work. Okay, last boss of this first wave, and it's Gill Turtle! Oh, quite a little jump, don't you think? Going from weak bosses to all of a sudden Gill Turtle. Okay, this should take a little bit more preparation, of course. Uh, white dispel. Aw. Aw, you missed both times. That's lame. Okay, what should I dual cast? Let's see, um, probably, no, not Sildra, it absorbs elements. I think it absorbs elements, except ice. So, Golem, and, what the hell, we'll go with Shiva. I think I'll do a few waves now, and probably stop midway. Rather than show you the entire cloister in one video. Okay, let's try a rapid fire. Oh yeah, this'll do a lot of damage. Okay, 
Okay, not enough to finish it off, though. Dealing with two sets of counters, of course. Oh, yeah. It's over. Was there any doubt? Done. Okay, then we can begin Wave 2. That actually gives you plenty of time to use Ethers, if you wish. Um, uh, yeah, I think only one will do. But do I need any high potions? Yep, we're good. Next! Okay, who are we facing? It's really nice they give you time to rearrange your jobs in between waves. See who this is. Ah, Liquid Flame. I remember the. I'll just spell Blade Bazaga. I'll just go with a rapid fire because I'm feeling a bit dangerous. Oh, that was more than enough. That was a wasted turn, Barts. Okay, now we gotta deal with Soul Cannon and Launchers. Okay, it's same as before. Shouldn't be too bad. Didn't even need to use level 5 death there. Alright, well, hit that other launcher, just for the hell of it. Well, I may not need to. Okay, I'm gonna go with a dual cast of Thundaga. Turn both of them. There, yeah, that should do the trick. They ain't surviving this. Oh, I was right. Thanks for the 10 experience points, guys. Oh, Purabolos. That's right, I gotta take them out at once. Otherwise, they'll just revive each other. And in that case, I should Spellblade Silence. Just to neutralize them. Uh, can we go now? Oh, that was gonna be glitched. Uh, hope I don't screw this up. Okay, I think that should do a lot of damage. And why don't you do the same thing, Grill? I mean, they eventually all gotta die. There, now it's down to two. That should make my life slightly easier. I hope. Oh dear god! Come on, silence them all. Then they won't be able to resurrect each other. Okay, in that case, I should target that one. Oh, I still got to resurrect, never mind. That one. Actually, Bar should have targeted the other one. In fact, that's what I'm gonna have him do. Why don't you do the same thing, Lena? Then we'll be able to finish it off. Okay, use another rapid fire. Hit the other one, please. At least once. Okay, fine, don't do it at all then. Be stubborn. Okay, I'm gonna let Bars take the other one. Cause I don't want them all to come back. That's what will happen if anyone else finishes it off. Could have had Lena cast Silence too. But this works more efficiently. Next! 
Okay, Minotaur now. In other words, don't use magic. You can rapid fire away, of course. For maximum results. Of course, I'm up in P and down. Next! Okay, I, we pretty much know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna let everyone else pass except for Krill. That's right. Slicey dicey! Down and out. Um, yeah, what the hell? We can do one more wave and then I'll stop. Well, for this video at least. Okay, fully refreshed. Let's continue. Right, let's do this. Wave three. Oh, we're gonna start with Biblos. That's right, I remember you. You had that little bit of dialogue warning us of X-Death and stuff. And for that, you die. Ah, Tyrannosaur. All right, let's go. That was a very long battle. I thought it was going to take years. A uh, dragon pod. Oh man, we're just reliving some old memories. Isn't this beautiful? Nothing more beautiful than creatures getting their asses kicked. Enough said. Okay, number four. Archeo Demon! Oh, 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 crap. Okay, it's not gonna matter. Oh, force of habit. Well, I'm not worried because I only started the fight. Just gonna use death on itself. No big deal. And we'll do it twice, mind you. In other words, I don't think I really need Spellblade. I'll just defend. I have the Mighty Guard, though. I wasn't expecting Archeo Demon being wave 3. Granted, it was like a Seal Temple boss. But here it is! It's right here! Guess I'll have to use my own magic. I mean, Flare is going to be weak after all, which is unfortunate. Well, decent enough. I'll just have to go with Meteor. Actually, Hastiga first, then Meteor. There, that should work. Now we're back in business. Uh oh, here comes the Giga Flare. And I'm not even gonna chance blue magic. Let's see, what would be better? Holy or Flare? I have a feeling it's gonna be Flare. You know what? I'm just gonna go with Flare both ways. At least that pierces magic defense. That's rather than holy. And Krill can go for a double cast of Meteor. I mean dual cast. Double cast is FF10, that's right. 
But I mean, it's the same thing. You get the idea. Thanks to Mighty Guard, Giga Flare won't be so bad. Oh, here comes another one! Just sit back and enjoy the fireworks. And again, is Archaeodemon sitting? I mean, it clearly can't be standing. Oh, these are very, very short legs. Oh, it's just a drain touch. No biggie. I'll just do some spam. Spam, 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 baked bean, spam, 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 and why did I just quote Monty Python? Oh, that was back in the day. Why are birds so funny? Bringing quality comedy and stuff. How do they do it? Must be the plaque in their teeth. Or the fish and chips. Anyways, let's just... Try to finish this guy off slowly, my you. That was a bit of a wild card. Like, how do we go from Dragon Pod to Archaeodemon? And a Flash. And Biblos, too! That was in the mix. What's this boss gonna be? A panda? Really? In the words of the Miz, really? 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 We're just going from point A to point B and point mutated A, B, or whatever, it's in the middle. That strange, unusual pseudo letter in the alphabet that's between A and B. We seem to have gotten there. And that's a scary thought. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here, and next part we'll do the other waves. I think that's going to be the last three. See ya!